Goodbye, Roatan. No offense, but we're glad to be leaving. It was easy to fly in and out of, but in the Rio Dulce, Dave will have several friends to help distract him. The wind cooperated and the seas were relatively calm. We chose a great day to sail away. Mom just needed a refresher before jumping right in and taking on some helm time. It took most of the day to check out of Roatan, so the sunset came quickly. And it was a beautiful one. What's not to love about sailing off into the sunset? Living life seems so big to us until we're out in the middle of the ocean. The world grows to huge proportions, and living life is just a bathtub toy. The wind died in the wee hours of the morning, and we switched to engine power. Leo, our autopilot, made the trip easy, doing all the driving so we only needed to keep watch. The sunrise snuck up on me, looking like a fluorescent pink marble that transformed back into an orange fireball as it rose above the haze. Leo never once fell asleep at the wheel through the night. Normally, he has three lapses each trip, but the seas were calm. There's that fireball. Good morning, world. As time passed, the seas calmed more and more. This beauty rested for a few hours before flying away. I have never seen the Caribbean Sea so calm. As we neared Guatemala, the welcoming committee joined us, playing in our bow wake. I always worry about running over the dolphins, but their favorite spot is right at the bow. Of course, they swim way faster than we can go. Mom enjoyed watching them too. You can see them looking up at you. They know you're there.
Lan Ho. As sunset loomed, we entered the bay at Tres Puntas, Guatemala. Dave took over the helm, but he was not doing well. I prepared to anchor. Setting up the bridle and readying the windlass remote. Amakaya left earlier than we did from Utila and sat at anchor waiting for us. The next morning, we timed our arrival in Livingston for high tide to lead Amakaya across the sandbar. After checking into Guatemala, it was time to go up the Rio Dulce.